When you perform multiplication, the number before the cross symbol is called the multiplicand. And the number after this time symbol is called the multiplier. The result of this multiplication process is called the product. As for the general rules in multiplying 8-bit integer binary numbers, number 1, if sign bits are equal, either both 0 or both 1, then the product is positive. Otherwise, the product is negative. Number 2, Binary multiplication is very similar to the usual decimal integer multiplication. In other words, shift the partial product coming from each multiplier bit from right to left, then add all partial products to get the final product. Number three, if the final product should be negative as dictated by rule one, then take the two's complement of the final product. Otherwise, do nothing. We also have a fourth rule that the number of decimal places of the final product must be the same when you add the decimal places from the multiplicand and the multiplier. But you may just explore this rule on your own. Now application of these rules becomes more familiar if we use it on an actual example. Let's try to multiply the binary number 1101. 1100 to the binary number 0001011. So let me rewrite this in a more familiar form. 1101100 times 0001011. So if we convert this into decimal numbers, This position has a binary weight of 2 raised to 0, this one is 2 raised to 1, and so on. So for the first term or the multiplicand, we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. This means that we have a value number 4, and then 8, and then 16 then 64 and negative 128. If we add up all these weights, this is equal to negative 36. For the multiplier, we have 0, 0, 0, 0001 0, 0, 1, 1. So this bit position has a weight of 1. This has a bit position of 2. This has a bit position of 16. If we add all these weights, and the sign bit tells us that this binary weight is positive, hence we have positive 19 here. If we multiply these numbers, we have 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 5. Uh, this is 3 to 4. Next, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3. And then let's add these partial products, 4, 8, 6. And since based on rule 1, if the sign bits are equal, either both 0 or both 1, then the product is positive. Otherwise, the product is negative. Since the sign bits are not equal, which is the multiplicand has a sign bit of 1 and the multiplier has a sign bit of 0. Hence, their product must be negative. So let's now try to perform binary multiplication on these binary numbers. Let me rewrite it here. Since the multiplicand is in two's complement form, we have to convert it to its true form. And after that, we multiply the magnitude bits of the multiplicand and the magnitude bits of the multiplier and then just add the sign bit to their resulting product. So first, let's convert this into its true form. So we have 1101 1100. Get it's one's complement, 1100, Then add 1 to its least significant bit. 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. 
1 plus 0 is 1, then copy the remaining bits. We can now perform binary multiplication because both multiplicand and multiplier are now in its true form. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Again, this is our multi and for the multiplier we have this one zero 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 one zero zero one one zero 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 one zero zero one one so let's multiply them when performing multiplication we just need to multiply the magnitude bits and just attach the sign bit later in the final product. So right now we have how many bits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, the first bit refers to the sign bit and since we only need to multiply the magnitude bits, I'll delete this 8 bit and then begin the multiplication process. Let's begin with this first multiplier bit. So the multiplicand is basically multiplied to bit 1. So in effect, I'll just have to rewrite these bit values. Uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. For the next bit, I'll just have to rewrite these bits, but I must begin writing its partial products starting from the second bit position. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. For the next bit, bit 0, any number multiplied to 0 is 0. So basically, I just need to write 8 zeros starting from the third bit position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For this next bit, again, I'll just need to write 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For this next bit, I just have to rewrite the multiplicand bits. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. For this next bit, I'll just have to write 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And for the final multiplier bit, I just have to again write 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's add all the partial products. I have 0 here, 0 plus 0, 1 plus 2 zeros is 1, 1 plus 3 zeros is 1, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 5 zeros is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, 1 plus all these zeros is 1, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus zeros is 1. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. And this is 0. Now these bits are just the magnitude bits. Hence we need to add the sign bit which was determined earlier. Since this bit is positive and this bit is negative, the product of these two binary numbers must be negative. But before that, according to rule number 3, if the final product should be negative as dictated by rule 1, then take the two's complement of the final product. Otherwise, do nothing. Since we are expecting a negative final product, we should take the two's complements of this resulting binary number. So to do that, let me take first its ones complement, which is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Then add bit 1 to its least significant bit. We now have 1 plus 1, this is equal to 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Then copy the remaining bits. 
Now, these bits are just the magnitude bits. Hence, we need to add the sine bit which was determined earlier. Since we are expecting a negative number, we must add a bit 1 to its sine bit. Now, if we convert this final product into a decimal value, this should be equal to negative 684. So, let's check. This has a binary weight of 2 raised to 0. This one is 2 raised to 1 and so on. Let's add the weights of the non-zero values. So we have 4 plus 16 plus 64 plus 256 plus 1024 plus 2048 plus 4096 plus 8192 but this is supposed to be negative if we add all these weights this is equal to negative 684 Writing down the given 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 times 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 equals 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching.